Hi, I'm Eric Perry. I'm a French Canadian. I'm a light painter. I'm from Grand Bay. It's an hour from Montreal. I lived in France. Now I'm on the Plateau Mont-Royal since about 10 years, and this is my studio. I'm Kim Henry. I'm a contemporary dancer and a light painter from time to time. I did some competitive gymnastic before falling in love with dance. Four years ago, I was doing a project with contemporary dancers. I was working mostly with friends and I saw her face and I invited her. She totally changed the project. So that was a stop motion, uh, light painting, 360, very complex project. It was so tricky. And when she came, I gave her the instructions and she was so precise. I was just blown by, by what she did. Since that day, she became the reference for the rest of the project. At that moment, I was kind of uh, at a turning point in my career. I was actually wondering if I wanted to keep going with the dance career or change path. I discovered another way of approaching dance, per se. My task was mainly to stay still, but to make stillness become alive. I started my photography career about 10 years ago. I bought my first DSLR, a Canon Rebel XT, and I uh, started to do uh, commercial work, uh, portraits with my friends. It was cool, but I stopped because I was just doing the same thing that everyone was doing, and it took uh, such a long time before I started back, and that's the 360 that brought me back into photography. With a super small studio with cameras all around you, it's super hard to be in a pitch black environment. If you use regular light, like strobes, you're going to reveal everything, the cameras. I wanted my subject to be properly lit, but still in a 360 where we don't see the cameras. Light painting was the answer. It took me so long to be able to bring that outdoors because the techniques I was doing here were not working well. I was always visible in the shots. And after uh, like a year traveling, we found those big four feet tubes and that changed everything. Today, we're going to work at the Blue Hour for the first time at minus 20 something degrees Celsius. I'm going to use two cameras, as usual. One is uh, taking pictures, the other one is sometimes filming, sometimes uh, shooting vertical. I'm going to use a remote in my left hand to trigger the camera and the light in my right hand. Besides the whole experience of traveling, seeing amazing and inspiring places, meeting awesome people and creating with them, but also the feeling that it's still like the tip of the iceberg for the technique and for what we can do with it. That's really motivating. Last winter, we went to a giant salt desert in Bolivia. That place is so magical and it was a perfect spot for us because of the reflection. And we, we did one picture that I really like because everything fell into place and this is what I had in mind when I decided to go to that place. And Kim's pose is so great. If I would go back in time, I, I don't think I would change a thing. I was not good at the beginning, but why our things work is that we did it right away. We just went for it. And I feel that kind of uh, thinking is what makes things move faster. Mm -hmm.